Hey YouTubers, I bought a storage locker. Uh, I bought it through an online auction from storagetreasures.com so I wanted to do this little video to chronicle the experience and um, take you along with me as we go through the locker, see what treasures we find, and also maybe more importantly is um, the experience of selling it. So selling off all the goods, or at least most of them. But uh, So here it is, this is the locker that I bought for $120 and it was a little locker, 4x5, but it had quite a bit of stuff in it. So here we go. Um, hope you like it. All right, so I'm cleaning out the locker that I just bought. It's a 4x5. It's got some interesting stuff in it. And uh, the gal here said that the, the uh, tenant was about to come back today and pay up and get their stuff. She's not sure why, but he didn't come. Some chairs and file cabinet. A whole bunch of wires. It's got tables. Not sure what that box is. A couple high end little speakers right here. And what's under the green drape? We'll find out. Alright, first thing we got these really nice high end speakers here. And this is really why I bought the unit. Sell for 500 bucks, brand new. About 200 bucks used. And I paid 120 for the locker. One thing you don't hear about on the show is the way things smell. And it reeks like marijuana in here. I'm not sure if it's this unit, I don't think so. Just in this whole facility, I think. This whole hallway reeks. It's amazing. And just pulled out these really nice chairs. There's some high-end office chairs that need to be cleaned up a little bit. I'm not sure what this thing is here. Looks like maybe it holds some kind of piece of equipment here or up here. I'm sure we'll figure out what that is. This guy's playing serious t Jenga with this unit because everything is like twisted in, packed in. All crazy, pull one thing, something else moves. Starting to get it cleaned out. A lot of stuff for just four by five space. I like that. Tons of cables. I'm not even sure what these are for. Check that out. That looks expensive. So we'll get all this unwound and figured out pretty soon. That shoot, there might be 50, 100 bucks in cables right here. Okay, getting closer. I saw this thing here online. It's Apple. Apple's usually means money. Apple stuff sells very well. So we'll figure out what that's for. All right, we'll get some kind of a mount here, maybe for that monitor, and then. This little plastic bag, which I just figured would be junk. Well, I got some other plastic bags. Good for a clean up and garbage. What do we got here? Looks like a little pedal. And, I don't know, hard drive? It says University of California on it. Interesting. All right, I just pulled out this monitor here. It's a Dell. Nothing too fancy. It does have HDMI. That's a good sign. It uses a TV. And then a uh, file cabinet. It's apparently is empty. All right, getting down the nitty gritty here. Still got some interesting stuff. A couple of, I don't know, electronic devices. We'll see what that is. Some kind of tables. And, uh, yep. Dream mystery cape here reveals the paintings or pictures. Boring. Okay. We'll get these tables out of the way and we'll figure it out. Alright, I'm not sure what we've got here. Studio linear amplifier. Voice expandable sound module. I don't know. Um, what I do know is it's stinking heavy for how small they are. Really heavy. And I think heavy. Probably is good. Okay, I got everything else out. 
Let me switch this around. My five walker will fit pretty easily in this truck. That's my box of straps and things, but still, dang. You know, new passengers. It's incredible. All right, so I got everything unloaded here in the garage. So let's look at what we got. Okay. So right here, I've got one of these Wawa pedals. Crybaby Classic by Dunlop. I think get easy 40 bucks on eBay. I already said these speakers. Those are um, probably 200 bucks on eBay. I'm not sure if I have a way of testing them, but I, I probably should. So check this out. We got this amplifier. Turns out this amplifier looks like these are selling for about seventy bucks on eBay. And then a uh, actually I'm not even sure what this is. Sound module, voice expandable sound module, Proteus two thousand. That's one hundred twenty bucks on eBay. That's pretty sweet. Got some kind of a this stuff is not part of the locker, but old hard drive uh, from it says University of California. Use these old cables. Uh. So right here we got that table. Those big old prints here. They're I don't know. They're not my thing, but so these little keyboards, they, they hook up to the computer, um, or they can't hook up to the computer. I don't know. I think they're getting like 15 bucks each on eBay. Not a big, big ticket. This. Table seems to clean up pretty good. It's got a little scratch on it, but I think we can buff that out. Big stack of wires. These two stands here. Haven't looked those up yet, but got those. Uh, I got this little microwave. It looks really clean. Whoa. So, I'll probably get 20 bucks for that. Funny thing is, missing a plate, but I have a, a uh, microwave I picked up from an earlier unit. Snagged the plate out of it. That was garbage. Snagged the plate out, fit that perfect. So, got the plate. This Apple charger I gotta look up, file cabinet, that kicker, guitar. Um, so, got all these tripods here. Uh, I think there's four or five tripods there with some of the umbrellas and the little light bulb ballast there. So, those are for photography. You gotta figure that out. The tablecloth or something there. Chairs, chairs. More chairs. Um, this Dell monitor. I think that's what this is. Is the mount for the monitor. 
And then I got this thing here, which is, I guess still gotta look that up. It looks like maybe it fits a keyboard or something. Uh, it looks high end, so maybe it'll fetch some money. And then this mystery painting. All right, so today is Thanksgiving, and uh, my family and I celebrated Thanksgiving yesterday, Wednesday. Surprisingly, people wanted to come this morning, Thanksgiving morning. I said, fine, that works great for me, so I'll just go through real quick. So you can see this area is uh, definitely looking lighter than it was the other day. Even that black computer desk sold 10 bucks. That office desk, uh, I really like that desk, it's 20 bucks. It's heavy duty, I was using it to stage my stuff, take photos. Kind of liked it, but uh, it's big and super heavy, so that's gone, and I'm glad. Uh, Let's see, subwoofer we had, sold that yesterday morning for uh, 50 bucks. So people are happy to get it. It's pretty crazy because things are 110 bucks brand new on Amazon. And uh, maybe there's some value in the box, but the box is busted because it wasn't stored right. Um, so the people are going to have to fix the box and they got to use speaker for 50 bucks. So um, I don't know, they were excited. So I love it when people are excited about the deals they're getting. Proteus 2000 actually... Um, did more research on that, and those were, are, were I thought it was 120 bucks. They're a little bit more money than that. They're closer to 200, but the price varied greatly based on um, the uh, expansion slots that were in there. So there's some like additional memory cards you could buy. Put those in. They're not in production anymore, and they're actually really expensive. I mean, there's one I saw listed. Maybe it was pie in the sky number, but they're asking six grand for a, a Proteus 2000 with all four slots filled. So I think that that was just somebody fishing for a miracle, but um, but ones with some other slots filled were st still three, four, five hundred bucks. So there was some value on those extra cards and I popped up mine open and sure enough, there was an extra card in there, but the uh, number on the card I couldn't find online. I couldn't find anything about it. I don't know anything about these. I don't know, have a way of testing it. So, um, Listed all the 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 amplifier, the Proteus, and the box, two hundred bucks or two hundred twenty five bucks. Got someone off me one uh, fifty this morning, and uh, on, on offer up, and uh, back and forth a little bit. We agreed on two hundred. He came over, picked it up. Turns out it's going to be used in a church. So I'm always happy to, that uh, you know something's going to be going to a church to be used. That's good. Thing that was a nice surprise is this Dell monitor. So. Um, of course, whenever I see a monitor, I think, oh, five, ten bucks, maybe, if I'm lucky, you just want to get rid of it. Nobody wants monitors, so, um, but no, this one actually turned out to be a really nice monitor, so it's, it's a, it's a Dell, it's extremely clean, there's like no scratches on the screen at all, and it turns out that these are maybe three to four hundred bucks new, I'm not sure, because they, they are discontinued, but they sell on Amazon used for two hundred, but this feature I think is really cool is the feature to turn it to the horizontal. Um, maybe working on a big spreadsheet or something. And uh, actually, I'd love to keep this monitor for myself, but I just can't keep anything because I start running out of room. But this thing is uh, this was a nice surprise. So I've got it listed online for 120. Somebody offered me 100. I said I'll take it. When can you be here? And then that's the end of the conversation. As the people are so strange on offer up and Craigslist, uh, they're like they're interested. You get back to them, and then and then uh, nothing. They just disappear. They they go dark on you. So um, I don't know if that guy will come back or I get somebody else. But anyways, hundred bucks on that. Hundred twenty if I'm lucky. That's a nice surprise. So this is turning into a really good locker. All right, so that was cool. I just sold the two keyboards to a guy over here in Dublin and uh, it's Thanksgiving night and he uh, messaged me through OfferUp and said, you know, he had some questions about them and hey, do they work? And um, I'm like, I don't have the cables and I don't have a way of testing it, but they look to be in good condition. And I'm, I'd say they probably work, but I don't know. And uh, so he said, well, would you meet me at McDonald's? I said, sure. I brought both the keyboards uh, so he could take his pick which one he wanted. And it turns out he bought them both, so there's 30 bucks. Easy money. All right, here we are on day four after buying that locker. Yeah, well, some of the stuff's gone. Uh, so actually, last two days I've only sold one thing, and that is the, uh, well, two things, but to one person, that's the keyboard stand and uh, the monitor stand. So those were listed for 30 and 35, 
guy offered me a 60. I said I'll take it. And uh, just glad to see Phil's gone. So, not much going on today on Saturday. Kids got the neighborhood uh, uh, doing a vlog. Hi! Kids have a lemonade stand going on. A couple of our chairs here, which they are offered to sell for 100% commission. And uh, hey. lemonade, one dollar, good deals here at the. Everything's for buy three, get one free. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. Yeah. If you buy three, you get one free. Oh. Okay. So would you good. Like to, Hard so would working. You like to, valuable signs. Would you like to buy anything? Uh, no. But I. Good quality snacks. Will you donate? I donated those chairs, but you gotta sell them to get the money. You gotta work. That's what we do here. We work for our hard earned four dollars. And then uh, here we've got the file cabinet waiting to be picked up, porch pickup today. All right, so it's day six since buying that storage locker. Uh, today is Monday morning and I bought that last Tuesday. So just want to give an update. Yesterday I didn't do an update, but I did sell uh, some really good items, especially, notably, the speakers. Those are gone. So um, I, you know, I just have an attachment to those speakers because that's what I saw in the posting, and that's what drew me to this locker. Somebody came in with a 150 offer. I said I'll take 175, and he said, okay, when can I pick them up? So 175 bucks, boom. But the day started out, I sold those bar stools, um, marked those down from eight to five bucks those went out early yesterday those wires i knew there was some value in those and sure enough one of the wires alone i sold for 40 bucks i had listed it for 60 bucks and um i think there's 70 80 bucks new guy says 40 bucks i originally said no i came back and said hey if you're still interested i'll take it and he says yep i'll be over and he did so um right now it's you know it's starting to get pretty slim here I still have a couple things, but these chairs, I'm marking them down super cheap, and a couple things I'm marking for free. File cabinet still here. You see that? Yeah. The porch pickup, no show. This file cabinet's been kind of weird. I almost feel like it's jinxed. The Facebook response alone, 15 people replying or messaging me saying, I'm interested in this item. I'm interested in this item. I'm interested in this item over the last six days. 15 people, not including OfferUp or, or uh, Craigslist, just Facebook alone, and yet no one has come for it. It's bizarre. It's a Han file cabinet, 20 bucks. There's no key, but still, that's a really good deal. Obviously, um, people want it, but uh, today, maybe it's lucky day, noon, somebody's coming. Uh, we'll see, 20 bucks. So um, the one thing that I have not sold uh, that I like is this monitor, and I'm going to hold that at 100 bucks. Uh, at least, so I still think I get a hundred or more. And um, yeah, that painting over there, I still think we could probably get some money for that painting. And these cables over here are still some value, but pretty much um, all the big ticket stuff except for that's that is gone, um, which is great. I'm at 650 bucks for this locker. Um, I'll do like I like watching these videos by Jens Tobias. So right now I'll show you uh, our tally for this locker. So we paid $120 for the locker originally with the taxes and the auction fee. We're just shy of $150. Bucks. There's no dump fees on this locker because there was not very much stuff to go to the garbage. Right now we're at $650, so that leaves us with a $500 profit. And that is probably the best return on money that I've ever had on a storage locker. And uh, i got to be happy about that. This was actually a really fun little locker. I would do this every day. I can't say there's enough hours in the day to do this every day. Um, because it actually took a lot of time not to move the stuff, but to take photos, research, list it. That stuff takes a lot of time. And I can't say that I'm particularly fast at it because I haven't done it all that many times. But um, yeah, I learned a lot. This was fun. It was a lot of fun. And um, you know, 500 bucks profit, I'll take that. I still got a few more things to sell. That'll be money towards Christmas. And uh, But I, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you would, please subscribe to this channel it would really help me out i don't plan to post a lot of videos but when i do you'll get updated and when i do it'll be another locker 
and um, I will try to make the video shorter, and I try to make them more interesting next time, and let's hope uh, next time we'll get even more interesting stuff, all right, so I have more stuff to talk about, so thanks for viewing this, if you got to the end, uh, I applaud you, and, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it, um, I did, all right, so God bless you, take care, and uh, see you soon.